In this video lesson, we will learn what is a partition of the set and what is the sigma algebra generated by this partition. Assume we have set X and uh, this set is divided into some number of parts, A1, A2, A3, and so on, uh, and so on and assume this last part is a n. So our set X can be represented as a union of a k for any k, for all k's, from one to n. And each of these subsets a i and a g, where i is not equal to g, have empty intersection. In this case, we say that our set X has a partition, and we, for partition, for example, we can write it as beautiful P, and assume this is a partition of our set, X. Of course, when we have a partition, when we have partition P, in this case, we can construct a sigma algebra using elements of this partition. And we can add empty set to, to this sigma algebra. Empty set will be in this sigma algebra. Of course, the whole set X, which is a union of all AIs, will be in, in this sigma algebra. And for any, two sets a union of these two sets will be in this sigma algebra. So we can construct this sigma algebra, and this sigma algebra is called sigma algebra generated by our partition. We have a result, or we can call it a theorem. Let's prove our theorem. Our theorem. Uh, function f is measurable. We write it as f inside sigma algebra generated by this partition. So some function f is measurable or measurable in sigma algebra sigma if and only if this function f is constant on each element of this partition. Constant on each ak where we have a partition beautiful p which consists of elements a1, a2, and so on, an. Let's repeat it again. f is measurable if and only if it's constant on each element of partition, ak, where our partition, ak, generates sigma algebra, sigma, and our function f is measurable in this sigma algebra. Proof to opposite side is obvious. This is um, very obvious by definition. So when f is constant on each element of this partition, it will be sigma measurable. Let's prove to opposite side, to another side, and assume our function f is sigma measurable. By definition, this means that for any interval i, pullback of this interval will be inside sigma algebra generated by this partition. This means that for any, for any x, where x is some value of our function f, its pullback, pullback of x, will be, by definition, this will be, of course, it will be some set, some subset of the global set x. If we draw a picture, it will be like this. We have a set x, and we have a function f and pullback of some value of our function f will be some, some set inside some subset of the set x. And uh, of course, f will be, of course, b will be in this sigma algebra. 
by definition. But B, by definition, can be represented as union of several elements of this partition because our set can be divided into these elements. And since, and since F is constant, F is constant on the set B, it means that F is constant on each element of this partition AK. It finishes our proof. So we proved a result which is fundamental and we will use this result for finite case very often. In one words, if our function f is measurable, it will be constant on each element of partition which generates sigma algebra where our function is measurable on.